playing the occasion tell and not playing yeah. the game because we should have won that game. I hear you 100%. My favourite super chat of the night says, I've never seen someone dive and land on their feet. <laughs> that's that's just the truth of the matter, isn't it? it it's, that's the bit for me. Look, and I, I get everyone's going to have a different view on it, but I thought slowing it down uh, sh showed it up, really. Um, D Dio, w w what did you make? I, I want to jump straight into the penalty with yourself. Um, for you, should it have been a penalty at the end for, for Bakayo Saka? Um, I'll answer the penalty thing quickly. Overall, the team didn't do what I expected them to do. They could have taken their chances. Um, but, you know, all is fair in war. We got a draw. We'll go to the alliance. Uh, is it a penalty? I say it's a penalty. And I'll tell you why I say it's a penalty. Right? So, without just saying much, here's the still frames. Watch Noah's leg continuously move. Watch Noah's leg continuously move until the final contact. The keeper's leg was still in motion as well. The keeper's leg was still in motion. Like, if you say the keeper planted his feet, I'll go through it again. It's frame by frame. It's not a video, so that way nobody can come and say anything. I have multiple different angles. That's the first one. See, Most his leg was high off the ground as well. Yeah, look, no, Noah's leg is getting off the ground, still coming. And you can see motion blur. In video, when you see blur like that, that means that's motion blur in video. That means something is moving. It's called motion <laughs> blur. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if you see that in video, when I do this, if you wave your hand in front of your camera and record it and you see that movement, it's called motion blur, which means yeah, the, go the goalposts are not moving. The goalposts are not moving. You can see because they're stationary. Mm -hmm. It means there was motion there. So my thing is this, right? I thought it was a penalty, but I thought it was too late. Like as soon as it happened, I was like, the time is up. Like I would, I would, of course, I'd expect the ref to go pen, pen. But I was just like, this, if there was an extra two minutes, Right, if it was like two more minutes, I would feel more comfortable. The referee gave the penalty, but at that very last 10 seconds to go, do you, do you mean a little bit like City versus Liverpool with the docu situation? It was so late in the game, it was almost like let's just blow the final whistle. It's, it's, it's it was almost to me like if you blew the penalty on the last second and then we scored it on that very last second and you blew the game over, there would be much ado about nothing about it. A lot of hype, a lot of talk, a lot of nonsense. But the truth is, uh, we could have taken our chances earlier. Um, we played, we I think we played decently well against and I and I said this yesterday on the stream with Sad. I said to him, I said, league form does not translate to the champion to the Champions League. I said this yesterday, remember Sad? I said this clearly. I said Bayern might be playing badly in the league, but when they do come, they're bringing the fire. Because this is all they're playing for. I told him, I said they, they would come there and turn up, and we should we should be ready for that turn up. So um, I'm glad it ended in the two-two eventually. It could have been worse, <laughs> and it's not. Um, so yeah, so we go to the Allianz Arena, we see what we do there. But for me, it was a penalty. Um, I, I have multiple angles. I've downloaded all the videos, run them through multiple simulations. I've run the entire thing back to back. I've, it was a penalty. Noah's leg was still in motion, consistently in motion. So that's, that's, it. that's, that's my take on the penalty. Mm -hmm. I think it was. Yeah, listen, I, I, I agree. I agree. And, and, and I hear what you say about, about the game. Um, I want to ask uh, Saad your opinion tonight on your performance because defensively it's not what we've come to expect from Arsenal, especially from Gabriel and Saliba. Both looked really sort of naive at times, immature, and just a little bit shook by the occasion. Yeah, naive, shook. Those, those are the correct words to use. I think the occasion really got to them, and that's really unfortunate because... I own, not only is it a day ago on the top six, am I talking about the maturity of these defenders, how mature they look when they're on the pitch? But it's clear that when they come, when it comes to the Champions League, these guys get so, so into the occasion and they start getting so nervous. Oh, I don't want to make a mistake. Oh, I want to, I'm, I'm, when I see Saliba getting on the ball, he's just looking around. He's just still looking around, even though we need to go and get pushed for that, for that, for that next goal we need to get the goal to win in this game and uh, listen I, I think today from defensively I think Saliba Gabriel just got so nervous and played the occasion rather than actually playing the game that they're meant to play Kivior was getting rinsed we went and brought in uh I thought Tom Yasu was coming on and then I see Zinchenko and I'm like why would you bring him on now he didn't necessarily have the 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 worst the worst game he's ever had to be honest in my opinion um he was doing well going forward but um 
yeah, for me, defensively, it just wasn't the best game from us. I think we were just the occasion got to them. It's just it's just as simple as that. I think going in here with a two two draw, it's so difficult. I said from the start we need to go in. We need to win by a two goal margin. Forget about drawing. You have to win. You're at home. There's no Bayern fans there. You have to win. There's no there's no ifs or buts about it. You have to go there and get the win. Do you know what I mean? Now we have to go to the Allianz Arena at 2-2. It's basically a game where no goals. You know what I mean? You have to you have to go there and you have to score. Listen, all, all, all I'm saying is this. this you don't. You can get a new nil draw and go for it in penalties. Yes, yes. But of course, of course you can. But we need to win. We need to win to show to show oh, to show these yeah. players. Give them the confidence. And do you, do you, you think, it, because, Sard, Sard, let me ask you, do you think you can win now at the, the, the Allianz? I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, no, I think from, the the way, from the way, from the way, from the way that they were today at home, where you're supposed to have your confidence, you're supposed to be the home team. I don't know if these guys can win away from home. Allianz Arena. Allianz Arena. Hold on, hold on. The noise in the Allianz Arena is deafening. I agree with you. I don't know how they're going to deal with that. With that, with that but sad, but sad, 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 I think, I think, I think they, 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 I think they can because there's. The, All right, let me just, just let me just go to Ches for a second. What do you want okay. to say, Ches? Terry, we're going to speak on first the penalty or the second leg or the game in general because there's a lot to discuss it. Okay, let's let's keep so, it on the Arsenal qualifying. That's the part of the subject we were on. All right, cool. So, this is meant to be the Bayern team. That all the Arsenal fans told me was finished. They can't win games. They concede loads of goals. We're the informed team. We're the best in the Premier League. Rightly so. All facts, no gas. But full teams out there, basically, everyone's back for Arsenal. They had a fully available squad. Good motion, good form. And another Champions League game where you underperform. Again, this isn't the first time. The Porto two legs demonstrated what Arsenal can be like in the Champions League. But yet, all the Arsenal fans didn't learn from that. And not like Dio and stuff, they've been reasonable. But a lot of Arsenal fans were saying we should wipe them by two goals. And I sat here every time and said, yo, relax, relax, relax. And somehow Bayern scored two goals, okay, at your home ground. And now going to the alley hands, where they just have to win at home, which isn't inconceivable. So this is why I'm saying, like, the, the Premier League and the Champions League don't correlate. It, it, it doesn't matter what you think your team is, what plays you think are good or not. The Champions League is a different level with a different atmosphere and different vibe than to Premier League. So we need mm. to stop looking at teams on paper and going, oh, Bayern Munich haven't lost out. They haven't won in the last how many, and we've won this many games. It doesn't correlate. And that performance today showed me that. Because Bayern Munich didn't get battered today or just got lucky with draw. They hit the post up themselves. Yes, Ben might have had a chance, but they also had chances on the, on the counter attack where they're a bit poor. So to sit there and, like, be confident. If I was to be very tentative because this is the sort of performance I kind of expected from them. I'm surprised people are not looking at this draw as a disappointment. You kind of had to win. Because the Bayern team was there for the taking. I'm not saying they were good, but I'm very surprised also didn't win. I actually thought you'd win the game. And but it showed me you didn't have to that's learn. That's why I said it. that we kind of... Um, uh, sorry? So I go on, Matt. Matt, continue. Go on, That's why I said in the group chat that you know, we shouldn't be um, underestimating them. I said this before the game because it's Bayern Munich. Their heritage is Champions League. They know how to do it. No, but I wasn't hearing this. Let's not do revisionism. What do you think? Before the game. Yeah, 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 but again, for Matt, though, Matt was saying it. Like, Matt can say it. I, I get them, you, 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 you always talk about general fans, right? Why are we not going to talk no, about I, general I, fans now? No, I, I, under, I understand, I understand, I understand, I understand no, where you're, I understand please, where you're coming from. And there was a lot of gooners that I felt were, you know, Dan Potts called it out on straight facts earlier on today saying that people saying threes, fours and fives. Now, if Arsenal would have taken their early chances, then I, I, they could have done it. But for me, it was about the mentality today. And they just didn't... Brandon called it right. I think Brandon said it the best. They played the occasion. And that's why... I mean, the bookies have Arsenal of second favourites right now. I think that's ridiculous. And that's not a disrespect mm -hmm. towards Arsenal, but it's winning the Champions League is such a... It, it is different from winning a Premier League title. It's yeah. It's just yeah, yeah. understanding the one occasion, well. knowing how to play these games. Yeah. And that's it. I don't, I, don't, to... I don't think it's a case that Bayern Munich are much better than Arsenal. I actually think we're the I actually think we're the better side. But they have 
the experience and the mentality to get through games like that. I don't know how many Champions League winners they've got in their team. Kingsley Coman's one, you know, um, Muller's another. Do you know what I mean? And although Muller didn't play a part in the game, he's in the dressing room. We don't have any of them, apart from Kai Havertz, who's won won the Champions League. That's it. Do you know Jorginho, what I mean? So Jorginho. It's a, yeah, Jorginho. But again, it's a case of we played the occasion. We played the occasion and not the game. And we know that if Arsenal were fo- uh, firing and playing in, like they were in the Premier League, we probably beat Bayern by a, a few goals tonight. Sorry, can I touch on the penalty one second before everyone else goes? Yeah, yeah, because I've got some people backstage on the bringing his up. This debate is actually ridiculous. I'm going to talk for all the rival fans. They, they can all agree with me. He literally runs into Nea with his right foot and drags his foot to get the contact. So two things could be true. He did try and go past him, but he did it in a way where he didn't, the angle in which he went left wasn't so much so on his stronger foot. He kind of left his right leg out, seeing Nea kind of like drag his foot up and kind of fought the contact, went into the contact. Nea definitely connected with him. Still images don't show you, Dyer. So I don't know why you show me still images. Like I can't see my own eyes when I watch the game. <laughs> it's called mo- it's called motion blur, but you don't blur, you're right. right. But, but your retina does nibble, not see don't it. Don't nibble too early. Don't nibble too early. I'll put this off yet. When he's going past him, cutting in Terry, I want you to watch it again. He leaves his right foot out, waiting for the contact. He didn't naturally move how he usually does into his left foot motion, go for an extra or go around. He leaves his right foot out. Watch it again. He drags his right foot out, looking for the contact. That's why the referee watching it the whole time straight away said no, because you could see him do it. Now, of course, because Arsenal played crap, they hang on to it and go, oh, it's a penalty, it's a penalty. Hold it. You didn't win the game. The, the thing, the thing is, Chez, what you're saying, Chez, 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 the thing is, though, because I didn't... The, the, hang on, Chez, Chez, but wh- where was this energy last Thursday when you got two penalties very similar where your players allowed the contact to happen as well? Wh- wh- why didn't you come on and say Chelsea are a disgrace? They were not penalties. Wait, what penalties are you talking about? Sorry. You so the first that. when when if you go back and watch the contact of Anthony on Kukurea, he barely touches him, not enough to make him go down Hold in any way, minute. shape, or Hold on a minute. I was I was on the terrace. I admitted the second one was suspect. The man I, 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 I just spoke about the, the, the first one. The first one's a penalty for me. The second one is, is definitely like more for so this, I, I, this, is, this, is thing, this is the thing with this notion that Saka doesn't have to move himself out. Saka for me doesn't put his leg if Saka's moving. In this direction, and Noy's legs here, Noy's legs here, and Saka's here, and Saka moves himself into into his direction. Then I would agree with you. No, no, no he but, didn't move himself. He did it cleverly, Terry. He no, moved. No, his hang right on, leg. Let, me, let, me, let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. Go on, go on, go on, if Noy's leg is here and Saka's leg is here, and as he's going past, they're going past each other. Saka moves his leg in front of the goalkeeper. I would agree with you. But Noy has made an attempt to win the ball, so Noy has put his leg here. Saka's legs already there. Saka knocks the ball past him, then they clash. No, that's that's, that's the thing, Joe. So that's the thing, though. That's the thing. If you watch it again, he does put the ball past him, and like where's he, 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 where, oh, where oh, he meant? Oh, to, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to wait. Oh, where's he meant finish. to put? His, no, let me where's he meant to? Hang on. I don't want to let you finish. Where's he meant to put his leg when the goalkeeper's directly in front of him and has missed the ball? Where should he put his right leg? I'm, I'm going to finish with what I was saying, and I'll answer you after. Yeah, as I agree <laughs> with you, he taps the ball past him. And yes. if you watch him, his body doesn't fully follow the ball. He looks for the contact first before going towards the ball. If you don't believe me, watch it again. No I'm agendas. watching it now. Bro, If from the angle I saw it out before, he not runs into Neuer. That's unfair. He doesn't dive. But he, he sees Neuer where he is, puts the ball it, past him. It, so I'm, 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 watching, it cheers, cheers, cheers. I'm watching it right now. Cheers, I'm watching it right now and I played it on the screen Push earlier. You can't. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. There is no, there is no stop. There's no pause in Saka's motion. He touches the ball around the goalie and changes direction and continues to move at the same rate until his leg is hit. What you're suggesting is that he sort of he go the ball goes one way and then he kind of throws himself in the opposite direction. He doesn't do that. He doesn't do I it like, at all. That's, that's literally what I'm kind of saying. Chaz, yeah. Chaz, watch, yeah, yeah. watching the shadows. But, but he didn't. But he didn't do that. And my, my point <laughs> is this: we have all seen dives for us and against us. If he was diving, his legs would have started. I never said he dived. Okay, okay, okay. Well, if he ain't dived and there's contact, then it's a penalty, surely. No, but you can... you can. Because Neuer has made it... Neuer has fr- no, swung no, his no, leg round. Hang on. No, no, Neuer has swung his leg round to win the ball, missed it and caught Saka. You're saying Saka didn't dive 
But you're saying it ain't a penalty. I'm confused. What you're telling me is, let me just ask you this. The referee, who's right behind them, there wasn't many players around the referee. He made a terrible decision. Is that what you're saying? Yes. So we're here watching our screens, but he sees what I'm seeing, but in person in real time. But apparently we know more than him. And it's an agenda. It's well, an hang, agenda. On a minute, hang on a minute. Hang on a, so, hang on a minute. Hang on. So you're now saying... Oh. That we can't challenge referees and referees know more than I us. They don't I'm just saying, I agree what with are you saying decision. then, Ches? I agree with the referee's decision, but I think you're defending it too blindly. Oh, what, what, it. Okay, but why are you? But I've been going at referees all year, no matter who they've hurt. Why do you, other than you think Saka's left his leg there, what makes it not a foul from the goalkeeper? No, the goalkeeper himself makes contact with Saka. I would admit that. Uh, but why, is that why is that not a foul my then, in your is, opinion? My <laughs> point is, it's not a foul, it's coming together because Saka is clever. Oh. He runs, he puts the ball past Naya, and instead of following the ball in an angle where the ball went, he kind of leaves his right foot out there to see Naya's contact and take the contact and go down. It's, it's clear Chaz, it's, it's clear Chaz was watching the game in the shadows where he's sitting right now. So Adeo, he's probably you can only debunk my point. That's the only reason. Not I just, I, I, it's not about debunking, debunking your logic. I debunked it. I showed you images. You said, you said, you said still facts. images don't show you anything. And I'm like, go back and look at it. You tell everybody to go back and look at it. We go back, we look at it. And we're still yeah. letting you know that. At the end of the day, the rule is, the rule is if you, if you, if there's contact, Noah was still in motion. I'm not saying it wasn't a, Contact that was intentional. No, I wasn't trying to stop Saka, but Saka changed direction to the left. Yeah. And when you change direction to the left, guess what happens? You put your butt, put your body weight on your left leg, and look at what happens to your right leg. And, and your the right jump, leg will and go the, off. The and floor. the jump is to avoid the goalkeeper. Simple. Like I've said, if Saka, if you, if Saka's leg was here, and then you see it move out, a hundred percent, I would say that he did that. Just like Harvey Elliott the other day, put no contact on the first leg, so he starts dragging his second leg along the floor, starts falling over, and moves it so it hits the player. That's a very different scenario. To the reason Saka's lifting his leg up is to avoid it because it's coming round at him to try and win the ball. Also, he's trying to get out of the way. That, also, he's also, his ankle if he doesn't do that. Also, I can't believe he, it. Also, can't believe it. He, he's got an open goal. Like, why would you go down if there's no contact? <laughs> I, I, I don't get it, guys. I, I want to move on from this though because there's still a lot of people to speak to.